do think that there are, um, in terms of the surrounding of the event, they're going to be. Uh, it's going to be more problematic than for most presidencies. For one thing, you're going to have an awful lot of Democrats who are not going to attend. Uh, his uh, exchange with uh, John Lewis uh, didn't help that cause. And there is an effort on the part of Democrats to say that his presidency is illegitimate. And one of the ways they're going to sh show that they think it's illegitimate is they're going to boycott the, um, the inaugural address. Whether you think that's a good idea or not, it's, it's going to be um, difficult. And, you know how to, we know how Donald Trump is. If he feels that he has been attacked or insulted, he tends to, to try and punch back a, a, a hundred times harder than, than the punch thrown at him. So that'll be interesting whether that can be contained. The other thing is there's going to be a huge march in Washington the day following the, uh, the, the inaugural. So the inaugural address is on Friday and Saturday you're going to have a lot of people. It's a, it's a, a women's march that's I don't know if it's explicitly or subtext anti-Trump, but that's going to be there. That's unusual uh, to, to have that. So it's just a contentious time. Uh, I think even apart from Donald Trump, uh, you know, pre-Trump pre on the political stage, there's just a rancor in, in American politics and a kind of anger and bitterness, some of it understandable, some of it not. Um, but that was, that was the kindling, and he's the match. And um, so uh, we'll see. I think it'll fade away very, very soon. I don't think he'll give a speech that's at all memorable. I, if, if anybody remembers any lines from it, you know, three weeks after it's given, I'd be, I'd be surprised unless it's in a negative, you know, context. Do you know who's writing it? Stephen Miller, I think, is is the, who used to be a Sessions uh, aide. So he's he's involved with it. Um, one of I'm not sure if, if you'd say it's a problem, but. Because of the antipathy of, of Republicans, a lot of Republicans who have worked in previous administrations, they just don't have a lot of people who have done this before. Um, and, and also just in terms of governing in the White House. Um, and I'm not in favor of retreads. You know, people like me don't have to, I've, 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 I've done my thing. So, uh, and others, um, and I, Lord knows I wouldn't work there even if, if I was asked, and, and Lord knows I won't be asked. Um, but it does help to have people who have a kind of institutional memory know their way around, uh, you know, <laughs> the EOB and the White House and know how to deal with, um, with, um, with Congress.